Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASHTO T99, Moisture Density Relations of Soils Using a 5.5 pound rammer and a 12 inch drop. This video demonstrates the preparation of soil for a standard proctor test, method A. Obtain at least 7 pounds of soil. A larger sample of approximately 25 pounds will be needed for rocky soils or those containing heavy clays. Air dry the soil at a temperature of no more than 140 degrees Fahrenheit until the soil can be broken apart with the trowel. Process the soil over a number 4 sieve. Separate the soil particles without breaking aggregate. Use rubber coated equipment to prevent the breakdown of individual particles. Re sieve the material. Repeat separation and sieving until only rock is left on top of the sieve. Discard the aggregate retained on top of the screen. Note that occasionally the material retained on the number 4 sieve will be needed to determine the bulk specific gravity of the rock for a correction for oversized particles. From the soil passing the number 4 sieve, weigh out the compaction point or points. Typically, approximately 2,500 grams of soil is needed for each compaction point. Protect the soil from moisture loss. If the soil's moisture content is known, determine the target moisture content for the first point and measure out the water to be added to the soil. A typical starting point is approximately 4 to 8 percent below optimum. This may be an educated guess or you may gradually add water until the soil is friable but sticks together when compressed. Add the measured amount of water in small portions and mix until the soil is evenly moist. Keep the soil particles separated as much as possible. Protect the soil from moisture loss by placing it into a sealable container. Soils with fat clays require a seasoning time of at least 12 hours. Repeat this process for additional points, increasing the moisture by intervals of approximately 1 to 2 percent until the proctor is complete. In instances where the soil is fragile, rocky, or is difficult to incorporate water such as with fat clays, a separate and new sample shall be used for each compaction test. In other cases, the soil may be broken down and reused in successive compaction points. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.